Hello everybody, welcome to the Blitz Pit Final between Andri and PC, Purple Chest with the Dwarves, who has received and done no damage whatsoever to the uh, underworld oh, of uh, Andri. Andri has four claws on his team, claws on his tr claw mighty on his troll, a claw pommer that he's blitzing with now, a claw mighty storm vermin, and glad smash rip junior, so he's also got skip a stab stab as a star player. Um, 13 players for the Underworld, 12 for the Dwarves, um, a bunch of Garden Mighty Blow for the Dwarves. It's pretty interesting, I think. It's a pretty close match, really, isn't it? Because the uh, Dwarves will have a lot of, like, just generic bashing with all these Armour 9 and Mighty Blow on Garden, just getting loads of hits and stuff, whereas uh, the Underworld, if they're Claw Fires, they can uh, do really good removals. And it's in the like in the commentary booth with me is Rick Reckless and K. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for not butchering my name, uh, Jimmy. That's <laughs> that's yeah. much appreciated. Um, yeah, to, uh, you make a good point there, Jimmy. That uh, this is on paper a really close matchup. Basically, there's potential for it to snowball for either team. If the claw mighty blows get firing and the dwarves lose numbers, they get uh, incredibly underpowered. Uh, equally, with the tackle mighty blow against goblins and armor seven rats, the dwarves could wipe out a few underworld uh, and take a huge advantage there and just totally capitalize from that. In the two games we've seen so far of these matchups in this tournament, underworld have come out on top both times. Very interesting. Including a game between these two them in themselves, wasn't there, previously? That's right, yeah, and, uh, absolutely. Andre's already taken this game once. Mm -hmm. And this team will be even better if they could have the, the new Glad instead. Oh, you like the new Glad more? Uh, yeah, the, the, the 20k cheaper. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he definitely better stuff, value, he? yeah. He's definitely better value with a grab and stand firm as well. He might be slow and not really useful as a ball carrier because he's 82 and movement 5, but I do think grab stand firm is much better value. Yeah, because you were loner and not dodge anyway on Glads, which yeah. makes ball carrying uh, pretty tricky and repositioning tricky if you're in a tackle zone. So, yeah, yeah you might as well be stand firm and 20k cheaper. <laughs> so oh. it's also yeah, easier to fit in in, in, in builds. I'll put you on the list, Jimmy G. And uh, the deep setup, yeah, interesting. I don't, I don't hate it against dwarves because then you know they can end up having a GFI unsupported. But maybe that's why PC had his mighty blow blitzer was to stop people um, doing the deep setup to avoid a blitz. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm good. It does mean that you can't respond to getting a blitz off the kickoff as effectively. Um, I saw a streamer, I won't name names, the other day set up really deep. And then got a got a blitz and uh, possibly cost them the game because they couldn't respond to it properly. Mm. Mm. Hello, I'm going. Um, <laughs> if I could choose anyone in the world to flip me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know you wanted. It's a question, isn't it? <laughs> Careful. <laughs> <laughs> At least I threatened them with it before to find you and flip you. <laughs> <laughs> never shorty never you should watch more streams you know who it was <laughs> there's so many to choose from oh Ooh. first removal for the underworld uh, they have lost a line rat so the dwarves have had one but there goes a mighty blow troll slayer <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a big what about the rock <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool, right? Well, you know he wouldn't accidentally drop you on your head. <laughs> I'm big, oh, I know it's done. But it stays in. Really big survival there for the dwarves. They couldn't have really afforded to go another piece down already. It just feels like the the pieces the Underworld take off are so much better value than the pieces that the, uh, the dwarves get whilst they're being protected by rookie line rats and goblins. Yeah, well, I mean, that's if they... I mean, he had a hit on the claw bomber, didn't he, with Mighty Blow? But only Mighty Blow, that was the thing. Um, PC didn't go with any piling on, did he? Whereas uh, some of the other... Well, the other two dwarf coaches did take piling on. That's a trick with double piling on uh, Slayers. 
Yeah. And we so. had Trific against Purple Chest early in. It was a very, very close game. It could have gone the other way. Uh, I wouldn't say that uh, the lack of piling on a more guard was why Purple Chest won it first time. No, but I, I did prefer yeah. I did prefer PC's build in the Dwarf Mirror. But I yeah, think that's in, the thing. Yeah. I think that's the thing. It's definitely better in the Mirror, but in the, in some of the other games. Uh, and I don't like two piling on Slayers because it's basically one of those skills will be wasted a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. I think I think. For this match, I would have liked a piling on Mighty Blow Slayer, and uh, the fact that he hasn't got it means that he can't reliably take out these two guys when he gets the hits on them, can he? Absolutely not. Even in the Dwarf Mirror, I wouldn't hate one piling on Slayer, because uh, the odd random chip on a guard piece is so important, even though you're not going to get it that often. Um, yeah. Yeah. But but two yeah two in general does seem a little excessive. But I, I also yeah I don't like going the whole tournament without any. Uh, but then here's Purple Chest in the final, so I'm uh, certainly no one to argue against his choices. And he's going full, full at this one. Yeah, he's got he's got forward very nicely, isn't he? He should be scoring. So really, all he's got to watch out for is skipper on the ball and. Uh, and uh, you know, just generally not getting picked off by these claw mighties, trying to guard positioning, them a bit, isn't it? Good positioning of his guard on the claw pump. There's uh, there's no two dice. For yeah, that's there. the thing with Andrew taking both claw mine like two killers, no three guard. killers. He does no guard at all. Yeah, it's even guard awkward. on the uh, on the troll the troll would have been good now, wouldn't it? Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly like big guys who design so here. I tried it multiple times. It's just, oof. yeah, it's ro just roadblock a, big guys are, are the way forward for me as well. It's hard to get you utilize them enough to make it worth it. It's a lot of stuff. It's like fifty k is used on that that troll, which kind of you fall. Yeah, you kind of want to use it then. Yeah, yeah. Like I had a club. I had my move piling on, you know. Which you kind of means there's nothing else to do than blitz with that guy, because otherwise it's waste. I still like the block, even building him as a roadblock, because it makes him so much harder to deal with strength 5 block. But yeah, they, you they go, But you could go into guard block or tentacles yeah. block. I'd, I'd like guard block, absolutely. I love tentacles, but. So. A stand firm guard is probably better together if you want to go guard, but. Reroll from the Underworld. Unlike the other Underworld teams we saw that were extremely reroll light, this this Underworld team is incredibly reroll heavy. Yeah. So, so I can afford to to make that reroll there. Still got three for the remaining but, five turns. So it in, it depends on how the. Oh, oh whoa! whoa so it turns around your cable. What a ridiculously huge cars into <laughs> MNG as well. So we can't even. Uh, uh, he's going to. I will have it anyway. You you have it. Yeah. That player is too good to not yeah. take out four plus guns up this early in the game. Fair enough. Thank goodness it worked for the underworld, but that's a big loss for this drive. Yep, and his yeah. claw pommer can get punched as well, can't he? Because that really stupid. If that's the way PC wanted to go, which it looks like he's not going that way. He Why not? He can move, move all his team on the other side. Uh, it's hard to get behind the troll, I guess. Yeah, However, crazy. purple chess plays out this turn, um, yep. and there's no apothecary now. If he gets a Kaz on, say, the leader thrower or on Glart, well, Glart you couldn't apo anyway, but uh, if he chips a good piece, there's no apothecary. <coughs> Don't like not hang with Mighty Blow. <laughs> Done that loads, Jim. Honestly, I've stayed quiet on that one because purple chest is a better coach than me, but. <laughs> He's driven me crazy with the amount of times he's blitzed without Mighty Blow when he's had the option to. Yeah, um, he's definitely, he's not going out of his way. He will not sacrifice the, the right position to, to blitz with what he thinks is the right. Yeah. Um, Which is actually a really great lesson, you know, at least for some of the time, isn't it? Um, to, to be disciplined and to make the right blitz even if it's not likely to attrition. But, 
can also see one of the guard mighty blows is a bit wasted standing guard and see goblins that's never going to move. Yeah. But then it's it's still taking up two players versus three, isn't it? And he's already been down. So yeah, it's... it was just uh, you will have liked him somehow to have changed it with a guard without mighty blow. Yeah. Or, or even something. just not a guard. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I don't think there's anybody left that doesn't have guard besides the other dude up there. Yeah, the goo the, the dude who's furthest forward doesn't have Guys. Oh, but he, uh, he's he way out ahead. Yeah, that's a long yeah. time ago. Yeah. But yeah, two turn like you, this. They've been there since turn one, haven't they? So he, you're right. He definitely should have, could have, should have, could have, would have, should have got them swapped around. Yeah, I, but with, I think I think PC is definitely by now. I don't think he's in a place where he has the capacity to <laughs> think that far ahead. Yeah, like. <laughs> He must be absolutely smashed by now. Yeah, that's true. So I man. think he's just playing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Skeeter. You could also get the, uh, the troll on the ball to cause some issues here. Just a push isn't helpful. That's a, a guard piece on the troll now. Uh, oh! Where is the... That was good. How oh, though? And oh, really? it's... Uh, Ooh. So, yeah, very helpful stun. So he won't be able to stand up and guard next turn. But and, it's yeah, still... a nicely thought out turn there from Andre. I thought he might take a more straightforward just claw Mighty Blow on the Mighty Blow Guard Blitzer, which would have been a really great piece to chip, but uh, he came up <clears> with a really <throat> clever chain push play there. Yeah, he might force his so PC to abandon those three and then get a guard, that guard dude back. <clears throat> Even if that guard dude is getting contact straight up with the uh, with the claw bomber, well, he could he, blitz, he could guys. use that mighty blow to blitz the claw bomber, couldn't he? He can bring in the uh, the blitzer. Ah, the other guard, yeah, the blitzer, yeah. And then blitz him, and then actually go for the claw bomber as well. Yeah. Cool. You can get two dice uh, on the troll here with the guard long beard. If he moves the guard long beard, that's currently west of Blart, south of Blart. Oh. Or the one that's on the left flank. <laughs> Couldn't just surf the troll. Surf yeah. the troll, that's uh, a little Where, Who is like standing that. there? Oh, there's a blitzer standing there. Yeah, he could. That's... He got with the blitzer moves over, he could surf it. Oh, yeah, he could. Yeah, just go for the surf. No, not anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, just put him in. That might be for the surf attempt. But that's. Ooh. Oh, is he pushing him away? It's because he got really, him down now, yeah. He's not going to push anyway, yeah. Oh. And Bold moves down. Hello, TLC. <laughs> Cross platform. <laughs> don't, don't yeah, that's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Xbox, that's tight to Xbox. <laughs> Is he gonna stick this rookie on uh, on Skitter? Which rookie? rookie. Uh, you, oh, he's rookie. a guard mighty blow, he's the definitely. Oh, he'd already moved the rookie he'd already moved the rookie in, I thought he was gonna yeah, the mighty blow. <coughs> yeah, he's talking the rookie on uh, fighting on mighty blows, dude. Which yeah. kinda of makes sense, I guess. Yeah, but now he's got a guard on the might, claw mighty, and he could have had two guards on the claw mighty, which would have yeah. made it a bit better, wouldn't it? <coughs> yeah. I'll imagine uh, Andre is going for that hit on the rookie just to try to get numbers. Yeah. Uh, rock, go, rock, go oh, wrong. he could actually do the leader block instead. and then uh... You do have to dump the money, mate. You can't have money over 150 without it adding to your TV value. So you can buy the stadium, but other things you can do is you can buy the Apo and sack the Apo and buy the Apo and sack the Apo. Um, I was saying that, though, on a starting team, would that refund you? No, I still don't think it does. But regardless, yeah, you, you have to dump the money. That's that's the main thing, mate. Yeah, upgrade your stadium, is there? It's the easiest way. That is literally just dumping money in a big hole. <laughs> At least after the first one. To power the troll. Claw mighty blow on a guard. Ooh. Just a stun. Oh. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. 
what point have the Underworld done enough to force the score from the Dwarves? They can probably stall out another turn here, can't they? Yeah. They can definitely stall. Besides, if he rolls really crap. <laughs> uh. Might get a hit on the claw palm. The curl palm. Hasn't been targeting him so far, has he, Jim? We've said that a couple of times. Yeah, he hasn't. Uh, and he's yet. turned down the hits on the claw palm. No, he's just trying to protect the ball and stuff. Weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> Sensible weirdo. <laughs> It's six and two threes, though, isn't it? Like you know, um, going after the claw palm it gives you better odds to win the game, doesn't it? Whereas, like, going af looking after the drive is also important. So it's like, it's just, it's just, it's just different things, isn't it? I think going for the leader, it looks like. So it will be another non mighty blow hit, I think. Yeah. Oh, is he just tacking it up to? Nope, it's oh, another right. non mighty. Just a push as well. Unfortunately, finds the twenty-five percent. Claw is is it working? Is he's definitely stunning dwarves left and right? Yeah. Um, if it's by claw or not, then that's. Uh... Yeah, it's making life a little bit harder for the dwarves, but they've still got enough numbers left to make the cages at the moment. And he always got the, the crazy option and trying to skid a dodge for, for a stabby stab. I was literally it's, just thinking about that. I was thinking, at what stage do you, mm -hmm. do you throw Skitter in there and stab the armor? I don't think you do, because it's he's also a better one-turner than any of those uh, flying goblins. Uh, at least it's better when PC has to think about a change with one turn as well. Yeah. yeah. So, if in my opinion, if anything, you start thinking about getting Skeeter the hell out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, 25% the Longbeard dodge. Doesn't but break do armor you, though. But do we want to risk a, a, a 3 plus, 4 plus to stab in a situation where there's nobody to pick it up? Um. No, no, I definitely just want to try and put more pressure on. Just get a two turn chance, don't you? I think. Just getting chips for the second half. There's every chance you could get this to overtime, even if you lose this half 1 0. And if you've got Claw Palm that can absolutely wreck dwarves uh, if you get it firing. So, exactly. Even, even if you don't get the pressure fully on. I'll go at the, uh, the Mike Guard <coughs> long bit. Yeah, you take, the... a hit at the, you take a hit at him. Because you can do that without. Uh, well, I guess you. Do it with the troll. And then you can foul that uh, guard up potentially as well. If you feel like it. Mm. I, would have, I would have run around and blitzed the, uh, the long beard. And then, because you could have pushed him into the uh, troll for another chance. Uh, and he's got in. three rerolls for three turns. So I'd have really liked to have seen him do it with the claw palm. Who could reroll the push. And but where could, the, how do you get, the, how did you get the claw palm in? I think he de 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 it wasn't standing in a particularly good way for it, because the bad I No, before the assist, if you wanted to hit the guard mighty blow with the claw bomber, the guy assisting for you will be standing in the square you needed to run through to get into the square to blitz him. No, 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 no. I, I, you wouldn't, you wouldn't move that fucking goblin first in the way, and then you'd have blitzed the guy, you know, two squares in front of the goblin. That's what I would have done. Oh, it's, that guy. Uh, yeah, I because probably, then on a yeah. push, you could have hit with a troll. That's the thing. Yeah, oh, you're thinking that one instead. Yeah, I would have hit them just, just, just for the potential, you know, more core mighty chances. <laughs> exactly. Get the skidder out of uh, harm's way. Yep. And the same with the claw pommel, which he has done. To get your important players in safety. We got a stab, did we, Andre? Earlier in the. Uh, Adev, sorry, calling you Andre. Uh, yeah, earlier in the tournament, that's awesome. I would, I would love to see a stab at some point. It, it doesn't feel like you can safely stab with Skitter much against Dwarves. Or that you're going to have a whole load of success, but uh, it would be fun. <clears throat> Failure to pow on the troll from the Mighty Blow Guard Longbeard. And that's going to get him and others stuck. So he rerolls and another one in nine. So he's going to get multiple Guard Claw, uh, Mighty Blow Claw hits here. Is Andre on turn seven. Unless uh, Purple Chest decides to abort and, and put it in to avoid it. Do 
does he go for the uphill surf on the air? Uh... <laughs> the goblin. <laughs> Some people would go for uphill surfs, wouldn't they? Yep, yep. You do bypass armor nine. It's not absolutely uh, the worst way of attritioning, but uh, I think claw palm's better. And here we go. Claw palm in all its glory, chain pushing the troll. Yeah, and that lets him base the ball as well, doesn't it? Base the ball! Yeah. Ooh, la, 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 la. Some dice. Armor's broken. Just a stun piles it on. Oh, still just a stun. Natural armor break as well. Done. Well, lucky the Underworlds haven't done more than uh, what they've already attrition so far. <coughs> Uh, just that troll slayer from seems like ages ago. Yeah. Oh, that's not point. a good stupid. Oh, he's gone that. stupid three times this drive, hasn't he? He does. Uh, if he plays as well as he's played badly this half for the rest of the game, that troll's going to win the game for the end of the world. Protecting Skitter, there we go guys. Skitter's mm. safe. Got his own little cage. <laughs> oh, to be fair, that was a four plus that was a four plus uh, from the troll, wasn't it? So that wasn't too crazy. Chub step, uh, repetitive strain injury, mate. Um, clicking the mouse was uh, not doing my forearms any good at all. Um, but the control is really comfy, so all good. Oh, big armor break, if it had uh, done a bit more. But it didn't just to start on the troll. Squeaky bum. Got away with it. Oh, 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 to go for the dwarves. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> like it's going to be a line rat. <laughs> The stun, so no further attrition from the dwarves. They'll just need to put it in. Well done, purple chest. Never really under threat that drive. Yeah, played it very safe, didn't he? he? Always made what he felt were the best positional blitzes rather than the attrition ones. This player stays out. Both the underworld pieces come back, so he's got a full selection from his whole team. I guess after losing 2 0 last time, he also really run the score. Yeah. Be sure that we see the skitter attempted one turn here, uh, factoring in the tackle on the back row for the dwarves. It depends on how he sets up. That's the whole thing. Well, you can set up for both anyway, can't you? That's the that's the beauty of it. Which backlining? Oh, lost two one in auto. No, oh, so somebody else. It was another game. Who said some again earlier? Okay. Um, don't. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say if you put them in tight, you definitely freaking go for the one turn on Skinner. <laughs> you still do it with that one. It's. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Let's just chain push so you get the first push in the blitz, and then Skinner is already in, in scoring range. Yeah. Is there any way where he can. Yeah, and that's full super. So the, the hard dodge will be we we wait um, wait dodge as well. Yep. And he's got. What are you him. doing? What are you doing, Andre? I don't, I don't know what Andre's doing here. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Please play properly, Andre. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm giving up. Can people lit? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, just, going the, just going for the throw team, mate. The only reason to not go for the only reason to go for the throw team and touch down is because we were afraid of Skeeter getting hurt on the dodges. Yeah, but he had he had the uh, PC had um, the runner at the end, didn't he? Which was pretty bad. That's uh, also a blitzer. There was multiple places where you could do you oh, could yeah. do the easy dodge and then uh, then the hard dodge. 
Yeah, 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 no, it didn't matter him being on the edge, did it? No, it was multiple places. I have, I have no clue why he's going. F like, only it's to save Skidder. That's the only thing I can say. Yeah. Yeah, the dwarves have set up quite deep, haven't they? If you're going to stop the one turn throw, you'd set up further forward. So maybe Andre's been uh, boiled. Hell? He did this last time, you know. I I think he doesn't know how throw teammate works. <laughs> Genuinely, I think he doesn't know he can move a square forward because he did this last time, when, um, the first game that we cast. Instead of using that golf thing, that's all. The thing is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a go for it. Animosity roll fails. Fails the animosity roll. Oh. That's full. This we might just not be in range, you know. This is the thing. He might just get out of range, mightn't he, from the throw? But and besides, in which he should have gone for the. Tend to land in range, but you are giving yourself an extra go for it at the very least, aren't you? Oh, he's landed it. So now he's just got to get past tackle on one dodge. The other three are tackle yep. Come on, Goblin. One GFI. Yep. He's done it. No, the GFI. <laughs> no. If he'd done the other Goblin. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. Oh, we've only done the other goblin. Unbelievable. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm speedless. Just I this. really don't understand this. <laughs> Skidder yeah. didn't, and he could have chain pushed easily, so Skidder didn't even need to do the go for it. Yeah, Skidder for sure is better odds. I'm sure Skidder is better odds. Um, that's like, at least then use the right Oh my god. Um, but I think it was a go for it with the throw because of the deep setup. So it yeah, had it to do an extra yeah. go for it no matter what. Yeah, it would have been a GFI G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. But even that will still, again, because of also the chances of scattering backwards, it's still better. Like, as. I think Skid it was just better anyway to pick it up, wasn't he? I couldn't have picked it up with Skid on just going for the two plus chance, yeah. Yeah, because then you don't, because you've got to do a two plus animosity roll. Yeah. If you pick so, it up with a thrower, so Skid is just better anyway. That is what cost him. Um, the animosity cost him the re roll that he then couldn't use on the GFI. Yeah, I'm giving, yeah. I'd be playing so much worse if I'd been playing all the Blitz bit for the last two days and was trying to play a high standard final in one minute turns right now. So uh, I think, again, yeah. it's it's the format which does make it interesting. But, but he still have a minute. Oh, yeah. He did set up multiple different ways, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Touch back. Can you move one square forward? Uh, because TLC, when when you do the throw teammate, you can move and then throw. Um, so he could, he could move four squares forward. Yes, throw. yeah, but you know, realistically, the yeah. the goblin on the LOS, he could have then just moved the uh, troll one square Ooh. forward and then thrown it from the square behind. Yeah. Um, and like stuck. in Blood Bowl 16, where you have the Doom Diver, the way to use the Doom Diver is moving the Doom Diver, he's move up on the opposing field and then run in and throw him. So he lands in the end zone for taking an example. So power with Claw Palm, is he going to follow it for the piling on? He does, he, he doesn't break armor on the first one. There's the pile on. Ah. It's a stun. The Underworld really struggling to chip dwarves. Oh no, Whoa. Double Skulls on Blards. Luna reroll. He might just eat it. He's, it's, it's on a Luna. He's, he's almost yeah, got he's, it, hasn't he? He's yeah. not. Overtime kick format. Too big to use a reroll. Doesn't get to take the troll hit. Now the dwarves get a few blocks back, which is really what a terrible start for the Underworld. <laughs> yeah. oh a my surf, goodness. maybe. Not now. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Played safe, there's no reason. <laughs> Just oh! tried to kill them. No but that was, the, that was the random land run. Yeah, he needs the kill on the next hit, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot bigger, actually, because there is still two goblins on the bench for Underworld, so if they're forced to score a bit early and take use of their bench, they won't <coughs> too much with that line run. I like doing this the other way as well, this hit, because he could have done it the other way, and then if he got two pushes, he'd still have another hit on him, wouldn't he? Oh. 
He's just really not all about maximizing hits in these spots, is he? We've seen this time and again now from Purple Chest. I agree, that is the route I'd have taken, but I can appreciate why he's uh, he's, he's going a different way about it. Yeah, yeah, it's not a criticism, it's just an observation. <laughs> <laughs> It's it also, a, it's also an observation that uh, Andrew might be in a little bit of a pickle now. Yes. Well, it might not be as bad as it seems. He doesn't have to stand everyone up in tackle zones. He's got the ball safe and deep for now. Uh, and he can still try and do work with the, uh, the claw mighty blow pieces yeah. one at a time. And just slowly rebuild this drive. And the, the line wrap being dead, it's only one piece down for this uh, drive. And he's got bench for it for future drives. The problem is more... To... The problem is he's in contact all over, which means you need to start rolling three buzzers, which is never a good thing. Then, yeah, you just take them one at a time, starting with your standing pieces. And you just accept a, a failure. And then if you've got some pieces down with the ball deep, it, it, you know, you, you're not too bothered about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as rough as it looks. I agree. I agree with that assessment because it looks horrible. It looks <laughs> Only because it looks yeah. so bad. It, it, it actually isn't, yeah. <laughs> it's still bad, it just looks horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've also been in the. It just accumulates when, yeah. The failure state just get higher and higher when you. The problem with Underworld is there's not naturally a lot of rerolls in this. Um. Be notorious. At, at the moment, the, the Dwarves, if you mean who do I think will win, sorry, the, the Dwarves uh, do have the best position, Jokes. but it isn't a foregone conclusion by a long shot. That one in nine doesn't help. Come on, Glart, for goodness sake. He's got Jugs. Oh, it, it, it does help. Yeah. He's got Jugs. Oh. Cheeky oh. Jugs. Doing a thing. Um, but uh, I'd like to see the Underworld win because you don't see Underworld win much. Uh, I feel a bit sorry for Purple Chess because it's lovely watching him play in this tournament. I hadn't had much chance to watch Purple Chess play before and I'm, I'm really enjoying it, but uh, I do have to cheer for the Underworld here. <laughs> yeah, when it's Underworld versus Dwarves, there's only, there's only one team to cheer for for a neutral, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's uh, making all these three pluses. Yeah, he made them all. That's and good. Now, it looks, now it looks all right, doesn't it, really? <laughs> roll good. good just roll three, but just don't fail three buses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, screw crawl pump. <laughs> On the other hand, one of the only games where they kind of deserve the it, dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> He's the uh, troll on a dwarf here when he could have could have pushed him away. He could have just had another crack at him as well, couldn't he? Could have just chosen the boat down and two D'd him again, but he's he's favouring hitting a goblin and goblin. getting rid of the troll. And chain pushing uh, the troll away. Oh, yeah. That's nice. And that way he can stand up his blitzer. He's somewhat putting his blitzer out there a bit a bit on the line though. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that goblin is getting new friends. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the best protected uh, goblin in this game. <laughs> Isn't totally impossible to surf the Blitzer here, but uh, you'd need a few pushes, and with the long beard where he is, I think it leaves the ball carrying too dangerous of a, of yeah, a spot. I think, but, uh, I think that looks a bit too dodgy. If if even Jim says it's look too uh, too much, then it probably is. <laughs> Jim, Mr. High Risk High Reward, you've got a reputation, mate. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we'll see uh, Andrew scrambling around for some time until hopefully he can find a hole and go for it. 
Like, for the most for the most part, he's at least reconnected and stood up his team now, so that's looking a lot better. We're we're gonna see a a claw palm hit here that could do a thing, and then he gets two free hits at another two dwarves if he wants them on the left. Yeah, but you might think about taking that claw palm hit on one of those two, so you don't have to do your blood less blocks. It doesn't look like he's going that way, but at least I don't know what he's doing. He's going to block that Garda over here, and you don't want both down, is that for sure? And the pal. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't follow. follow. Are you going to dodge away with got... somebody to 2D with a gobble? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he has to, right? But the Skitter is not... No, he's not safe, is he? Really, Skitter? This is a bit... That's aggressive like hell. Oh, yeah. That's why I said I don't know what he's doing, because by putting those sort of, that I mean I knew what he was doing, but I didn't like it. He's, he's, got, he's got to re-roll this. <laughs> That's really what I should have said. I don't know what he's playing at is what I should have oh, said. Oh my goodness. Was, yeah, that was really risky. I didn't like that. Maybe PC won't go for it. But One, two, three, four, five. Just to go for it. Yeah, yeah. It'll just do all five, the moving. Five, two dice. <clears throat> it'll do. Yeah, it'll do all the moving around, and he'll he will probably hit even the, the troll first and do some stuff. Yeah, four four rerolls is uh, it's quite a lot. I think it's it's probably <laughs> worth giving it a go. I'm sure he's giving it a go. If Andre's playing the player and knows that Purple Chest will turn this down, then Andre's a genius. And that's <laughs> not entirely impossible. <laughs> Huge oh, yeah. non-knockdown there, isn't he? If he got the knockdown, he, he would have had the uh, one, two, three, four tackle hit on Skitter. But this means he's reduced. He's reduced to a, uh, a blitzer hit. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've seen loads of go for it from Purple Chest, yeah. This yeah, is AD was uh, having fun. He did, uh, he gives for fun. He's blitz Clark. Oh my goodness, right. Oh, he didn't, he didn't do it. No. Andre is a genius. I think, I think maybe if he'd got the power on the troll, so on the troll he would have done. Because cause then he's, he's hitting with the uh, tackle, isn't he, then? Yeah. And hitting with, with an out tackle is a bit shit. Yeah, yeah, he wanted the same, but that's the... Let's see. He can... St Still single GFI to base, get to just a force dice, force the blitz back yeah, but that's... rather than to get forwards. I don't think PC is, is going to do it. Yeah, do it with him, so at least you're doing with tackle, yeah. You don't want to do it with a... You don't want to do... Force it with a blitzer, because then it's a 1 in 36 and he'll never fail it, will he? <laughs> no, you've never won in 36, Jim. Ever. Ever. No, but you know what I mean? Like, you can't. It's not a good. But very much reward. I, I still like forcing. Like, if I'm playing Skaven, I like slapping any old piece on a gutter runner if I know they're going to dodge it. Because eventually, uh, if you do get the snake, it's such a massive reward. And coaches often miss turn time slightly and try the two plus before it's so... over. Oh, I don't like it. Because you're just giving him a free assist with four pom blitz. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the way if... I look at facing the ball. <laughs> and here it comes. Oh, he's good. He's good. He's hung on thick thing and kept him on the pitch the first time. Um, the thing is, so often I agree with you, Jim, on facing the ball, giving a free assist, right? But in this occasion, you're stopping them from doing the blitz further forward and making space to advance. But that's um, only because he used to tackle. Me. Yeah, yeah. I think if you bases without tackling, you just dodge away, and. 1 in 36, yeah, they happen, but I don't think you sh it's worth making a 1 in 6 hoping for a 1 in 36. Do you know what I mean? I just think it's not oh. good long term. Might blow power on a really good long beard. Another stun. They just can't quite get the removals. This Underworld. Maybe, though, they're doing enough with a, a couple of really nice stuns this turn to set up a gap for the next turn. 
certainly that Longbeard now in the deep field will uh, will be stuck there for a long oh, time shit. with his movement. Oh. Did he? Did he really? Oh, uh, was it? Oh. Was that from a? Oh, dodge. Oh, it's because he dodged from a dodge uh, from Blitzer. Yeah, there wasn't a tackle on it. He's, he's one in nine into dead, which is a, a little bit harsh. <laughs> Get off my fucking I, I think I'm still taking that close. I think I'm still taking the um, the tackle. That dude first. Oh, oh he gets away with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think oh, I'm Even if it costs me the goblin on staying, I'm freaking making sure that he's not going out. But yeah. he got away with it. Yeah, that dude's so much more important than a shitter goblin. And he's got a goblin to replace the goblin. Uh, his bench is now used, but if he was to score next turn, theoretically, uh, he would have a full 11 for the next drive. You just can't replace Claw Mighty Blow. Still got two rerolls. He's, uh, he's losing the reroll battle, but at the moment, not a terrible, terrible situation for Andre, is it, guys? You can still see him getting through and scoring. <laughs> <laughs> Three we don't need it. Shut up. We, we, we know the, how the SFX goes. <laughs> don't know how that's good. Yeah, it's a good point from Masters and Super G. Maybe shouldn't have piled on there against Thick Skull. I mean, it is one of his better players, isn't it, Mighty Blow Guard? Um, it, but he's only got four turns after this, so yeah, I think that's a good point. Oh. It's, uh, I don't think Andrew was even looking at going over the middle line next turn anyway. Yeah, I guess he, Skitter, Skitter only needs to be like. Four squares in doesn't need to score, so it's not. He doesn't have to make a big breakthrough. I think he's going to put all his money into doing a, a last minute skedaddle. Yeah. yeah the, the deep stun here, um, Villy, is, is really nice, isn't it? But the one further up, less so. He's going to recover and be in position very soon. Yeah, if you haven't still gonna be di you're still disappointed at some point after taking multiple, multiple claw mighty blow hits, somebody piling on and uh, and not getting any removals. Yeah, he has been a bit unlucky for sure. <clears throat> yeah, now he's getting that tag. He's a little bit heavy to the left side now, PC. Yeah. We'll yeah. see Andre turn up to the right and probably go f go for the run next turn. Yeah. A classic strategy, but it's worked well, and it is one of the best ones against dwarves, swapping from side to side, isn't it? He's stretched them out one way, stretched them the other, and eventually they've gone slightly too far one side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got a cheeky scoring threat. <laughs> and if this has been res, you might as well even have a use some of those line rats and goblins to base some of the longbeards in the wrong side <laughs> just to force it even more yeah. oh heavenson with the gifted sub thank you so much heavenson wiseo welcome to rip nation courtesy of the super kind heavenson amazing mate Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs> you gotta work on that woo jim uh, you know, it comes from the stomach. That's the real, the real key to a good woo. Oh, I can, I can do better woos. I'm just trying to tone it down because you know I don't want to kill people's ears. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Believe me, I've done plenty of woos. <laughs> <laughs> me and my buddies ruse. many a time have done the flare strut <laughs> and then chopped each other in the chest <laughs> and done some woos. <laughs> I'm just imagining you in your nightgown now, strutting into the living room. <laughs> <laughs> Many, many times. <laughs> um, yeah, you can woo me anytime, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and you can flip me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm so, slightly surprised he didn't put Glart one, not Glart, Skitter, sorry, one further forwards here because he can double GFI. Uh, and get tackle on again with the long beard at the back at the end of the turn. Yeah, you can. Yeah, <coughs> he, had to, he had to protect against the other guys just coming around, didn't he? That was the problem. Yeah, but it's I'm not... happy to uh, to tag up the goblin instead. A little bit surprised that he didn't go for the ball there, funnily enough. After, oh. 
Rerolls! One in nine. He wanted that blitzer out, didn't he? I, I know he's got four rerolls, but with overtime and kicks format, I think I'd have liked to have seen him eat that. I think the... Hmm. Mm. Interesting. It had, it had looked nice having it up. So. Yeah. And out. Guess he can now blitz the long beard in the middle and actually cage in the middle of the dwarves. Yeah. Sounds like an odd strategy, yeah. but that, that, there is space for it. I think that he was trying to prevent uh, giving up quite that much space in the middle there. Yeah, there's also been an option just leaving him on guard. Yeah, I think leaving him on guard was better, honestly, because guard is his best blitzer, isn't he? The fact that he's strength four and juggernaut. And when it comes to like position, oh, oh. finally, there goes a guard longbeard. And Claude, Claude doesn't do a thing. Mighty Claude doesn't do a thing. Claude doesn't do a damn thing. Could have been a goblin. He does and apothecary he's right. and unsuccessfully. Wow, that's another peculiar apothecary from uh, from Purple Chest. We saw some earlier. He's got a bench. He didn't need to apothecary that. It's just to save the guard. And uh, he's already got a massive guard advantage in this game. Yeah. Not in the game again. Yeah, if it's been if it's been against somebody that was not likely to hurt him, then it made more sense. But Android could easily do more removals. And now it counts. Whereas if you save it for a badly hurt, Andre's got to do an extra removal than he's now. Holy I have to. What is going on here? <laughs> um, are you doing? A, uh, are you ending your turn with actually going for a sack? Are you? Oh, I've been so tempted. Oh no, you can get a long beard in. Yeah, that's wide open. Yeah. If that's if that's a if that's a knockdown and that's giving nine right, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, ball. three, four. He can only base. Beard is going to block the uh, the route, isn't he? That's the problem. But yeah, he's, he's just about got away with this, Andre. He's lost a goblin, though. Needs that to come back to have a full 11. At the moment, Purple Chest does have a full 11. I think Andre... Oh, no, both apothecaries are used. Of course, we had the early apothecary on the Claw Might Blow. Let's yes. wait for the, the Underworld, that was it. Yeah, saving it a KO in, for, in overtime. Yeah, that's a good shout. Oh, a skull! <laughs> Just a reroll, so we've had two rerolls in two turns for Purple Chest now. Mm -hmm. Going both the wall with his reroll advantage. And uh, now it is not a reroll advantage, two rerolls each. Is he going to uh, blitz the claw palm? <laughs> <laughs> It's like your Christmas wish, wish uh, that Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to GFI anyway, wouldn't need to even do it. I, I just don't know why he'd made that a one day. Oh, I, I was trying to work that out. Um, yeah, oh shit, he's going for the big boy. We'll get him on the first one, frenzy follow up hits. Needs the Dormus. <coughs> yeah, nice to on the trial. I guess you only have to reroll one in six times, so it's not crazy to do a one D, is it? Um, Skitter. It's time for Skitter to say goodbye. I'm so long for the fish. Yeah, get so through that. Fish. Well, it's a. Uh... Just which oh. way's best. <laughs> Gaping hole. Wondering if he's going to three plus the line right to assist or take just a one dice. Uh, uh, yeah, just one D. Yeah, then he can uh, go assist and hit the tackle away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that and was then it's a two sure. plus through. Hundred percent, that was the right play. Power on the claw palm, but not the highest priority at the moment. No assist on the troll, so I don't think we'll see him activate this turn. And he's getting up, just tagging. 
No. Skitter says, choose. Uh, <laughs> doesn't snake. <laughs> and he's out, out of range. range yeah. For everybody. Apart from this this long beard. Well, the, the long oh. beard on the left, yeah. One GFI. Dodge double GFI. Come on. Oh, Come on, God. hero long beard. KO's Glar, which could matter if he doesn't come back for overtime. That would be really good. Nice we get two rolls at him as long as he successfully scores. So, is it four plus two plus two plus? Yeah. Yep. For the... Potentially for the win, right? If he breaks armor on Skitter, I don't think there's anything else particularly in range. Yeah, no, there's no and goblins he, left to throw. And he can push in direction where the Bloodjack can actually pick up the ball, potentially, yeah. if he's lucky. Yeah, potentially, yeah. Uh, not bad with a reroll, is it? 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus? Yep. I think we might see game over here for the Dwarves. Oh. I'd, I'd, I'd have liked to have seen the GFI on Spitzer. And it's right funny because if he, if he hadn't wasted those, some of those rerolls, I say wasted, used those rerolls aggressively earlier, um, he would automatically yeah. reroll. And now he's, he's probably still going to have to reroll this and maybe be left with one reroll, isn't he? Yeah. I think you probably uh, have to reroll this, right? Because it just absolutely. wins the game. Yeah. Absolutely agreed. Oh, actually, the runner can hit, hit him instead. If he wanted to. Couldn't he? No. No, One, I think two, too far three. away. No, too far away. But yeah, there was no reason why the runner went that hard to the side for stopping the call. He was just stopping a dodge out with somebody that couldn't score. Yeah. Yeah, he should have been more scared okay. of Skidder. I think it's fair to say. Yeah, the now, it's plus, interesting. now he's got 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 dice, no reroll. He has to reroll it. Nope. Does but he what? re reroll? Ooh. Well done, Andre, the perfect 8 turn stall. <laughs> <laughs> and barring a riot or something ridiculous, we're going to overtime, folks. And what is really amazing is that somehow Andre's got a reroll advantage. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Sorry, it's, it's no PC didn't. Yeah, because yeah. he didn't reroll the four plus. Yeah, so dead even two two. It was looking really strong for purple chest on rerolls at one point at four two. He does oh. still have the phone. Big chaos. He's got a reroll. I think Squirrel Dude near Dev even on two. I think he has to reroll because he just wins. He just wins if he does that four two two. Whereas now, okay, you've got more rerolls for overtime, but you definitely go on overtime, and if you lose the toss, you just almost definitely lose, even with two rerolls. I think. If you, lo if you lose the toss, he just loses. Fully, fully agree with you, Jim. I've been rerolling that all day. Um, oh my it's better. Plague, what we did. Thank you so much, Blake. PF84, Kora, Face Wrecked, Coven, Lexter, and Tap Comet. Thank you so much, Blake. Welcome to Rick Nation, everybody. Unbelievable, mate. 140 all time. Um, PC didn't even set up for one last time. And now we cannot say. What, what is it with people that cannot figure out how to set up? For fuck's sake. <laughs> now he's giving. But PC doesn't care. Yeah, of course. Uh, of course. But why? Like you've got you've got friends here. You've got a blood jar. You bloody freaking at least set up for it. I've got the sound. I've got the sound. That's so bizarre. Can you not hear it, Furmonger? It's coming out of my computer. Oh no way! I'm so sorry, Blake. I've got it. That's so weird. The headset just messes up the whole system, guys. I do apologise. So it's just me enjoying a bit of Rick Astley. I'm really sorry. <laughs> we, we, can hear, we can hear it through your uh, microphone. I've got it through my speakers. Yeah. <laughs> Turn through the computer speakers. Yeah, it really. The headset really messes up the notifications. It's bizarre. Thank you so much, Blake. Absolutely awesome, man. Overtime, baby. Oh, Let's two stars. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is Bring the uh, purple chest one turn attempt, by the way. <laughs> Just run, <laughs> run, you run at six squares forward, even though, <laughs> even though it's turn sixteen. <laughs> what? <laughs> why not? Why not? Not here, uh, but... mighty blow. Oh, and why not do the mighty mighty blow bits first? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
But so much attrition for And it had been Mighty Blow had been breaking armor. Yeah. Double chest went from just the two cars to five in a very short time. This is bizarre. He must he must literally think it's turn fifteen. Yeah. It's been a long tournament. It's been a long tournament, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, he, 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 yeah, obviously he thought it was 10 15. <laughs> Lucky he didn't have to use a re roll eh? <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, that would have been rough. Yeah, all of a sudden, five re rolls means that he's maybe he's not going to lose if he loses the turn. Five re rolls, five cards. Yeah, that's. Um... So the dwarves have won the toss and they've just done, at the last second, a ton of attrition. Oh, blind, sorry guys. They've done a ton of attrition. No. Through the underworld as well. This looks really, really rough for the underworld. Yeah, now it looks great not re-rolling that for us, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was the perfect turn 15. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant decision by PC not to re-roll that for us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, three players up on the underworld out of nowhere. Oh my god. Those uh, those claws need to do miracles now. Yeah, I think And they it's... need to survive first of all, don't they, as well? That's that's the thing. If he wipes out the LOS again. Yeah, yeah the thing is, if Skidder, uh, I was about to say, he can hope for a deep kick in range of Skidder and too aggressive PC, I think. Yeah, Skidder yep. certainly. Skidder in Skidder we trust. Yeah. <laughs> Beef is exactly physic. Like he's he's gonna win this for a reason, isn't he? If he does win, which is looking likely. Yep. Getting good dice is certainly part of it. <laughs> Well rolled. <laughs> oh, not well rolled. And he got an extra reroll from the kick as well, didn't he? It's an interesting point, isn't it, Wolfbark? It, it's something I, I, I have a slight gripe with. That people that do try and play the more nuanced teams have a big disadvantage in overtime format. Because if you just come up against an ABC bash team, and you're taking attrition whilst you're trying to hold them off and play your game and stick with them on the reroll count on the on the uh, on the yeah. touchdown count throughout a game, and then it goes to overtime. By then, your player's down, and uh, and it's it's very very difficult. Yes, yeah, so now you're one player more down. That dwarves have got another one, so seven players now for the underworld. Four man advantage for the dwarves. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of good things about dwarves in this. Is spot on the TV for them, isn't it, Spurs? And, and another one. one. Um, oh, back again. It needs to be a failed pickup and some skeeter magic by now, I think. <laughs> yeah. Even past the troll. It's up to Longbeards. <coughs> we need to put some tackle in the way of skittering the ball here. Or, uh, or going for the stab. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'd, I'd have been tempted to put that guy, uh, what's he called, this Longbeard, the rookie Longbeard out on Skitter, just so he, uh, not on Skitter, on Glart, so he can't do some juggernaut things. <laughs> Could have done safe moves first. Might be tempted to cage dive with Skitter and stab here, guys. He could. He's got the. He's got dodges through no dodge through no tackle, hasn't he? Here. Uh, if you could go past the runner um, and past the troll slayer. Now it goes for a blitz with Glart and, uh, and just comes back. About to get thrown up. Hello VIP Clavius, this is the final, the final, the final countdown. Um, Andre won all of his games, Purple Chest 
lost in overtime to Andre. <laughs> um, but then he's won through the loser's bracket for a rematch, and this time he has murdered his team and won the toss in overtime, so he's probably going to win. Yeah. Barring skitter magic. Yeah, this final is so grand that even Jim got a win for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, the thing is, even with Claw, you still have to roll. You still have to roll something more than seven on some of it. Yeah. Uh, Hancock, no, this is uh, the grand final. Is absolutely the final, whatever the result. Hancock makes the advantage you get from being the winners bracket um, winner is that you can choose whether you want to uh, go offense or defense. And I also think you play less games. You'll play uh, way less games. Way less games to get to the uh, the grand final as well. So oh, it depending on... Yeah. Including not playing the last round, so you get like a, an hour's break when your opponent's playing and has to jump straight in. So there are some advantages for winning the winner's bracket, but one of them isn't that you get to double play the, fi the grand final. Yeah. Hello, Brasco. The third caster is K Fog. Um... <laughs> Cold full time. It changes every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. K F O G E D. He streams as well occasionally. So, um, K Fog Head. Kevin. Big Kev. Cold <laughs> full. This is an even more time Stab Blitz, um, even though it's now a 6 plus dodging, because potentially the scout could go somewhere you could recover it and you could break away here, because all the dwarves have, uh, have grouped together in the same place. Yeah, and you get the free dodge in, with the runner being a oh, you 30% to dodge in. Yeah, it's not terrible, is it? But no, we get another glad push. <laughs> oh. No, no. Oh, no, no, me took. Oh, it's the runner. Oh, the runner. Un the runner. Unlike UK Fool, he actually knows to not use Juggernaut on a both down, buddy. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> you wouldn't believe the amount of times we watched K Fool, Jim, and uh, <laughs> he's pushed on a both down against the non block bins. <laughs> <laughs> not that main, but I, I did it once. And what was that? It was in a Chalice game, wasn't it? Was it? A <laughs> I think it was I think it was a Chalice Cup game. Uh, the first time I actually had to use Juggernaut on Blood Bowl 2. Yeah. I had no clue how it worked. Because in... Yeah. I did that too. I'll be honest, the first time I ever used Juggernaut, I got it wrong. Apply. It is oh. very counterintuitive. It's so it's so wrong. <laughs> and it is really badly worked. But you probably want to find out before Chalice. <laughs> I, yeah, took the skill, I took the skill the game before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> it was literally the first time I had to use it. <laughs> but maybe the worst thing is using a pass block with elite player. That is an absolute nightmare in football too. Ooh. Oh yeah, pass block is awfully programmed. Clearly, like zero play testing done. And then because nobody's taken it in the early days of football too, there's no complaints gone in. Oh. <laughs> Another underworld off the pitch. Um, they are leaving Skitter deep, threatening the stab, but at some point you just got to do it. Yeah, I think I think maybe you were right, right earlier. Maybe you should have gone in earlier. He gets again. He puts a non-tackle on the corner. So. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think he would have done, but he did. So he's going to have another chance. <laughs> yeah. And and again, if it scatters through backwards. Yeah. A couple of pieces there that are free with your hands. I guess actually you can just put the put the long bead in here and then there's uh then there's no dodging. No. If you choose not to use Java, it doesn't let you wrestle mm. like it's like What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh Blood Bowl 2, that's brilliant. <laughs> Yikes Johnny, yep, he's in. In for the six plus. He's got dodge. Oh, good effort. Right decision. And there it goes. <laughs> Punished for the right decision. 
It's such a shame that the Underworld team really fell apart from turn 15. Up till then, it had held together pretty much fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the problem again with... If any teams is like... If, if Underworld starts falling apart, it just goes so freaking fast. Yeah. yeah. It's, that's just so bad recovery. That's what I found playing Underworld this season in my, in my league. Yeah. It's just if you have a bad couple of turns, then oh, in tournament as well lately. It's just there's no way back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It just. If this but, matchup is the epitome of the snowball effect, because you either end up with dwarves being removed by claw palm, yeah, and, and they don't have the group strength and group guard that they require, uh, and you just end up picking them all off then and out strengthening them with blast and the troll. And we've seen that twice already in the tournament. Or the dwarves get the the removals, and then suddenly tackle guard mighty blow is everywhere, um, and it, and again it just snowballs the other way. Yes, I feel the the whole one turn effort from Andre was really poor. Cool. It should just have made the skid up chain push for freak's sake. <laughs> Still a two plus away from making it, wasn't he? Andre, two plus yeah. away from uh, from winning this two one with that. <coughs> yeah, yeah, that's what people are saying. He should have done the whole job. Congratulations, Purple Chest Blitz Pit Five champion on, I believe, first attempt. I could be wrong. You could, have, but uh, amazing anyway. So good to have Purple Chest on Blood Bowl two, and here he is, um, victorious. Um, on behalf of um, G'day Nick everybody, uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to the sponsors and the streamers and the coaches that have all taken part because it's a huge group effort to put this together. Uh, even those of us that haven't played are probably a bit knackered now, but it's been well worth it. Loads of entertainment, uh, absolutely top quality all round, huge, huge efforts everywhere and it's been a wonderful spectacle again. So thank you everybody, brilliant show. And uh, a big thank you to my co-commentators, Jimmy and, and Kay Fool. It's been a pleasure. Love co-commentating with you guys. Yep, yeah, thanks, Rick. It's been it's been emotional. <laughs> <laughs> and big Kev. Like Always oh, lovely to have Big Kev on. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's been good. I want my title match, mate. <laughs> Right, and all that's it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.